If you know anything about enjoying wine, you know that there's a reason why the glass is half empty when you pour the wine into the glass. You don't fill it all up like a water glass. Because you see, the part that's empty is actually part of your experience of the wine because you can take in the bouquet, which happens in the part that's half empty. Then, of course, there's the wine itself, the part that's half full. So your experience of wine, a good experience of wine, lies where the two converge. Two complementary things. We live in the both and, even when it comes to enjoying a glass of wine. And so it is here in the church with the icon screen that separates the Holy of Holies, the sanctuary, which lies back there where the altar is, where the priest stands, and the rest of the church. Sometimes people say, well, I can't see the priest. My answer is, why do you want to look at me? My back is turned to you anyway. What do you, doing? What do you want to do? See my bald spot? I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not doing anything that's really interesting to watch. There are times when I do something significant, and that's when I turn towards you. In those moments, yeah, you see the priest. But we're not here because of the priest. We're not here because of ourselves. We're here to enter into the mystery of God. And this icon screen really helps in that regard. Because, yes, it blocks our way into the sanctuary. Because we're not in heaven yet. Have you been to heaven? If you've been to heaven, please write to me on Facebook or give me a call. Or if you haven't been there, why do you think you're entitled to go there now? This tells us, this blocking the way to heaven tells us we're not there yet. But we're en route. That's why we all face this way. Even the priests, we all face east. It's not that the priest's back is to you. That's like saying the glass of wine is half empty. It's that the priest and the people all face the same way. We face God because it's about God. It's not about you and me. The icon screen, like the glass of wine, is both and. So it conceals, but it also reveals. It reveals heaven come to earth. And we live in that convergence point, in that tension where heaven is partly here on earth. We can taste it, but not fully. We don't have it till we enter the next life after we die and hopefully get a good judgment. It reveals in the sense that it has the icons on it that look out to us as though they're coming from heaven. This side of the icon screen is dedicated to Christ. See, here's the main icon of Jesus Christ right here. There's four main icons on the icon screen. On the other side of the icon screen is the icon of the Virgin Mary. Now, what's interesting is because they have their own sides, right and left, above the main icon of Christ are icons of the feast days, the events in his life, like his birth and resurrection and baptism. On the side with the Virgin Mary, above her main icon are events from her life, such as her birth. Now, above both the main icons are rows of saints and prophets going all the way to the top of the icon screen, which has what's called the deesis. That's Jesus Christ, and he's flanked on either side by the Virgin Mary and John the Baptist, the two most important human beings that walk this earth other than Jesus Christ. Now, the icon screen can be several tiers, as this one is, or can just be one tier, Regardless, the point is, it separates the Holy of Holies from the rest of the nave. And this gives us a wonderful glimpse into a fundamental mystery of life, where life is lived in the both and. We're on our way to heaven, but we haven't been there yet. We live in that tension, and we keep striving to eventually reach heaven. When we come back tomorrow, we'll look a little bit more specifically at the icons themselves. But remember, life like this glass of wine, and faith is best enjoyed by living in the both and, not in the either or. Christ is risen.